Welcome, this is Terry Ewell. Weisenborn's study number 39 is one of those lyrical gems that make this collection so enjoyable to practice. Give this your best musical expression. Weisenborn was inspired to add several musical terms to the study, such as dolcissimo, as sweetly as possible, sonoro, resonant, and espressivo, very expressive. All of these terms indicate to me that the music needs to be played with great sensitivity and expression. I interpret the RF in line 8 to be in the context of pianissimo, not fortissimo. I gave a careful justification for the meaning of RF in the prior videos. If you need to review the meaning of RF, please see study number 35. In the prior video, Music in Motion, BDP number 100, I presented the use of dynamics, vibrato, and rubato as a means of expressing movement in music. I encourage you to view that video as well. In this reflection, I will further discuss the use of rubato to convey motion to and arrival at musical goals. I am sure that many, if not all of you, have been on a roller coaster. Remember the feel of the ride when you're at the top and start moving towards the bottom? The motion starts out slowly and then accelerates as you reach the bottom. The motion is a smooth movement from slower to faster speeds. Once the bottom is reached, then an upward slope slows your motion. A well-played musical phrase with rubato functions in much the same manner. Motion towards the goal is faster and faster, while motion away from the goal slows down gradually. There are not sudden jerks or stops with the motion. The motion is continuous and progresses smoothly. Let's practice these roller coaster moments, rubato drives, in the first eight measures. I will be exaggerating the motion now for our practice session. This also makes it easier for you to hear. When you perform it, you don't give the listener such a wild ride. I will tongue the eighth notes so that you can hear the motion during sustained notes and rests. This time, I will make two measure phrases. The arrows with the points to the right of the curves indicate motion to the goals. The arrows with the points to the left of the curve indicate motion away from the goals. try something more complex now and give more importance to the downbeat of the fourth measure and the downbeat of the eighth measure. Can you hear the motion? By means of rubato and dynamics, I created intermediate goals on the downbeats of the second and sixth measures, but the biggest goals were presented on the downbeats of the fourth and eighth measure. Let me now play it without the tonguing. 
but I will hear the pulses in my mind when I play it. Now let's try the real roller coaster ride in the study. Line 5 can be played in cadenza like manner. Let's try that. I will consider the first long note, A4, to be similar to a fermata. And then the motion moves to the first dotted quarter note, up a slight incline, and then descending to the appoggiatura we studied at the end of the last video for Weisenborn 38. I will tongue the sustained notes so that you can hear the subdivisions. Well, clearly I overdid it there, but that was sure fun. I'm celebrating that wild ride by wearing this flashy tie. You need to practice your robato by overdoing it at times to find the limits and to understand how to use this tool for phrasing. Notice that the contour of the rubato must be maintained through sustained notes. You must subdivide to do this. Precision is needed for rubatos. Musicality can be improved and brought to a standard of excellence with careful attention. Be sure to include rubato practice in your practice sessions. <laughs> Thank you.